gathered over a hundred custom products that are better than Lego. And instead of just showing them to you, I want to find out which one is the best. I will hop on a call with some of your favorite Lego YouTubers to find the best custom products that exist right now. But first, let's take a look at some of these products. Remember these backpacks from Star Wars The Clone Wars? Lego actually made them and they look- Okay, that doesn't look very good, does it? This custom backpack looks so much more accurate, and these two from GE Customs and CAC actually hold thermal detonators. There's no way a thermal detonator is gonna fit in this tiny thing. Arc Troopers need backpacks too. This one replicates the look a whole lot better than LEGO. It's custom molded and printed. Hold up, why does the LEGO Arc Trooper helmet look so weird? We'll get to that later. Speaking of helmets, everyone seems to be arguing about the new helmet holes on Phase 2 helmets, but what if I told you they weren't even necessary. Mandy Yime Workshop made accessories that attach to helmets without holes. Micro binoculars on old phase 2 helmets? Heck yeah! Visors on old phase 2 helmets? Heck yeah! Lego, can you please hire this man to bring back helmets without holes? Tech from the Bad Batch also has a bad helmet. The visor can't even move. Upgrading these figures with custom parts means Tech's visor can actually move, and just changing out the backpacks on the rest of the squad makes them look so much better. There's some good custom arms out there for Echo too, because for some reason, LEGO gave him a regular arm, even though he has a mechanical arm in the show. Here's what these 501st troopers would look like with these accessories, upgraded legs, and an actual cloth comma. Look how much better these minifigures are. LEGO has really been slacking on commas and pauldrons lately because they've just been printing them on and calling it a day. But look how easy it is to fix these minifigures. Captain Rex, fixed. Snow troopers, upgraded. I could talk about how good these accessories are for hours, but the real question is, what do other people think about them. I did not know that these backpacks were used for grenades, so I actually really like this one. I love the, the macro binoculars and accessories that you can put on the old helmet. That's a game changer. I didn't know that existed. I'm, I kind of, can you send me some? This whole helmet hole debate has been seriously plaguing the LEGO Star Wars fan base. That just solves the problem. And now those holes just look even more unnecessary. I've never seen macro binoculars that don't go in holes before, so that's pretty sick. I love all of the CAC different visors and stuff like that. They look great. CAC backpacks in general look really good especially the ones that fit the thermal destinator and they're so cool i've always loved that one especially because they have different prints and stuff you can get so many cool different prints so i'd say probably those ones would be my favorites my favorite one is definitely the little backpack where they're holding the grenade i just like that it has like that extra play feature with the accessory like i own it but i never knew it was supposed to be used for grenades that cac backpack is so good i would probably Oh, the tech helmet. Oh, that's really tough. Oh, go okay. With. I'll go with the tech helmet, yeah. Cloth commas is always a debate as well. Mm. Since yes. those are, like you said, always printed. The price of official Lego cloth has just skyrocketed for some reason. That's always something I'm looking for. Actually, shoulder pauldrons are something that I'm always looking for that seem to be a little hard to come by. I feel like the cloth set is more versatile, but the concept of being able to attach accessories without using helmet holes is like revolutionary. But if it were a single product. If I could only get one, I'm gonna go with the cloth accessory pack. Now that we found the best accessory, what about helmets and minifigs? Remember when I said LEGO Arc Trooper helmets look weird? A company called Grandpa Clone Customs fixed it, and they added helmet holes in the correct spots. Here it is next to a LEGO helmet, and it looks exactly the same. Well, except for the fin, of course. They also made a 212th helmet that will make your 212th troopers look 10 times more attractive. A flame phase 2 helmet, which also will attract the ladies. And, um, why is Rex's helmet smiling? Their Captain Rex paired with this cloth would make LEGO's new Rex jump right into the toilet where he belongs. These are pad printed, which pretty much means the print is the same quality as official LEGO. I'll be selling quite a few of these items on my website, mikeandike.com, which will launch in January. Here's another version of the Shock Trooper that's better than LEGO. Camino Security Trooper, Camino Security Captain, a Naxxus Trooper, this one that everyone thinks is a 501st Trooper for some reason, a Starcore Trooper, a 91st Trooper, and this guy from the Bad Batch. I have a whole other video that shows more clone troopers LEGO never made. But since then, GE Customs gave me this Phase 2 clone trooper with battle damage. If you want to buy one yourself, GE's website is linked in the description. Here's Captain Vaughn in a 332nd trooper that put the 332nd battle pack in its place. The toilet. Wait, this isn't gonna fit. <laughs> we'll just throw it in the trash then. Both of these are decaled, which means they are made by hand. Many of these custom minifigures that I'm showing you are decaled, so if you want to buy any decaled minifigures, I'll be selling quite a few on my website. Remember these accessories? The same guy made a Commander Fox that makes the official version look like crap. 
Why spend your whole life savings on the Coruscant gunship when you could just buy this? Oh, of course, you, you guys all have a crush on Padme. Sure, I see how it is. Speaking of the Coruscant gunship, here's another shock trooper that's also better than Lego. This is the last one, I promise. It's battle damaged and has arm printing, just like this 501st trooper. And honestly, I would love to see Lego make more battle damaged clones like this. Just. Don't add any helmet holes, Lego. Here's Commander Cody in the realistic style. Almost everyone says it's the best clone style, so that pretty much already puts him above the Lego Cody. And his custom face in this jetpack by GE Customs takes it to the next level. Hold up, hold up, it's not functioning. Huh? Speaking of Cody and the 212th, I thought it would decal some airborne troopers with a more accurate waist cape and arm printing. So I'm really curious with this section yeah. since you're a big decaler. I've got to say, I am a decaler at heart back in the day, but now I've graduated and I am a sucker <laughs> for GCC. I love the GCC stuff, the replacement helmets, the full figs, the, pa the pad printing. It's just, you can't go wrong with those for me. What stuck out to me was battle damaged clones because normally what I consider a battle damaged clone is either they're sucker or packed. <laughs> <So everyone's laughs> Legitimate battle damage is actually a critical feature. Oh, yeah, airborne troopers. Yes, so both I of like them. I'll, I'll say the modern like, one just giggle for giggles. It has toe printing. Those are decaled, by the way. So. What? No. Really? Yeah. Can Wait. I feel so bad for Mike and Ike's fingers right now. Like, you detail so much. You must have so many little chips from the little uh, razor or whatever it is you use. In my one video where I decaled 100 in a week, that was that was kind of bad on my hands. The Camino Captain. He looked really slick. The Cody realistic helmet actually looks really good. Ooh, and okay, his jetpack. I have a custom jetpack. It's not the right color, so I was like, oh, that's an upgrade. Honestly, the 212 replacement helmet is so good because they just dropped the ball on that one. Plain P2 as well is so good, just because that's something we haven't had for so long, and uh, those things are so rare, and especially in the new, new style as well, and uh, that one's probably my favorite, the P2 plane. Which one would you say is your favorite out of all those? That Camino Captain is slick. That, that's the one I'm looking at. Jealous. Good choice, I love that as well. Here's some items that will make your minifigures look 10 times better, or more cursed. <laughs> LEGO Battle Droids have looked exactly the same since 1999, but what if I told you you could upgrade them to look like this? The arms are so much more poseable, and this backpack from Tyne TDT Tyne is the icing on the cake. He sells a bunch of other cool customs on this Instagram. Clones used to carry riot shields in the Clone Wars, but whenever I look at LEGO's riot shields, I instantly start throwing up. These pad printed riot shields are far superior. And for whatever reason, Lego never even touched droid shields. Probably because they want to forget about the time Echo blew up while holding one. This one by GE Customs looks so accurate. No, Echo, don't pick it up! Bo Katan? What are you doing? This isn't your scene. She's using GE's Mandalorian shield because that's the real reason she survived during this scene. Wait, Grogu? What are you doing? Ah! <laughs> LEGO hasn't made light-up lightsabers in years, and even when they still made them, they were stuck to minifigures' hands and always ran out of battery. Yeah! These ones have a USB port on the end, which means it will light up till you can't pay your electricity bill anymore. Can't pay electric bill! You can also hook it up to a battery, a laptop, or even Palpatine's hands. Uh, Palpatine? What happened to your face? What the heck? A lot of LEGO YouTubers use these cursed heads, and other than the fact that they haunt me every single night, they look incredible. These guys told their plastic surgeon their face was too short, and only one person was satisfied with the surgery. Why is he smiling like that? It's making me uncomfortable. This is Sub and Scribe. They're conjoined twins, and unfortunately, they can't be happy until we reach 10,000 subscribers. And that's Dislike Button. No one likes him. We also have and A. Let's look at some not so cursed minifigure heads. Oh, come on! Here are 10 custom clone heads that look a heck of a lot more detailed than this, this, or this. We've got Wolf, Fives, Jesse, Dogma, Tup, Rex, Cody, two alternate clone faces, and 99. Seeing his face brings tears to my eyes. I found multiple colors to the original Boba Fett helmet that LEGO never made. They even have silver, gold, and this one that glows in the dark. And look at these blasters. LEGO blasters look okay, but these ones take accuracy to the next level. We've got a regular clone blaster, sniper, pistols, commando blaster, droid blaster, stormtrooper blaster, rocket launcher, and even a minigun. They're only 50 cents a piece, so I'd highly recommend buying them for grip tactical. 
Legends website. Brick Tactical made this minifigure that looks exactly like me. Because it is me. <laughs> they packed a bunch of cool references to my channel and to this minifigure, including making my wife Becky. Yep, that's right. She's a massive doll head. We only made a hundred of them, so make sure you buy one before they're sold out. Click the link in the description if you want one. Bokatan, why are you holding a black lightsaber? <laughs> That's better. Lego, if you're not gonna make the dark saber correctly, then just don't bother making it anymore. At this point, Lego's just trying to make us mad. Anything stand out to you? Straight away, the brick arms arms, the, uh, the droid arms. Dang, Although yeah. we're getting custom blasters and stuff. That's so good as well when you're putting out graded mocks and stuff. Jesse's face print was my favorite with the logo tattooed across his face. You can use like another old person face if you want to make your own custom 99. But that one, the wrinkles, it just captured the pity of 99 just too well. The commando droid shield is the best one. It looks great. It's beautiful. Locking it in? Just like you've apparently locked yourself into this relationship with the severed doll head. <laughs> Actually, favorite? I take it back. My favorite accessory is the severed doll head. I noticed there was a little floor in it. In the corner of that shot, so I go with that one too. Like the Florida. Oh man yeah, yeah, sure. Cheers, Florida, Florida man, man, guys. Like this figure is the best, and you should all buy it. Definitely for the seven yes. heads. That way, one day you may see him in public. He'll be happy. He'll be with his family. You can just go up to him and say, "Micah, is this your wife?" Oh, well, well, I have your ex-wife in my pocket, and then you pull this out, and it's a little seven doll head of his ex-wife. Brit Tactical, my favorite custom weapons provider. Mm, <laughs> <Supplier>. Definitely. <laughs> a couple that you do with like the music sound effects. Those can actually come in really handy when. You you just need like an expression or some reaction to something. So those are those are pretty good. I can only pick one. Yeah, you can only pick one. My practical answer is that you have to have a uh, unalive minifigure face print. So the X is over the eyes. That's the most practical. But the one with the big eyes might be my favorite. Yeah. So I'm between Jesse's face print and the big eye meme. Out of all 100 customs shown in this video, I told these YouTubers to pick one as their favorite. And here's what they said. The best, most underrated custom here is by far the Camille Pack. That is the all in one. Yeah. <laughs> it's the cloth, you get like a sweet figure that Lego's never made, and you don't have to take the helmet off, so you're not gonna see paper. Wait, was Becky your top pick of all time? Of course. I appreciate it. Echo's arm is pretty legit too. Echo's arm is actually underrated. The Picom's arm is probably my number one, just because the droids haven't had that sort of expansion for so long. The blasters will be a close number two. Most of these customs are based on existing LEGO products, but there are quite a few minifigures that LEGO still hasn't made, and most of them are clone troopers. I could list off at least 100 clone troopers LEGO hasn't made yet, but you'll have to click here to figure out what they are and what they would look like if LEGO made them.